Sometimes the bomb might explode without any warning. Yeah, we don't want to do anything to scare your children. That's the last thing we want to do. We don't want to scare anybody. <laughs> Hi guys, my name's Jade and I'm a, a graphic designer as well as a YouTuber. Um, so yeah, I wanted to share something with you that I've been playing around with today. So I've been fiddling around with creating logos. As you can see, this is one for a company that I came up with called um, Out of Focus Pictures. So yeah, I wanted to kind of show you how I'd kind of managed to achieve this. It um, took me ages to figure it out. I could do it in Photoshop, but I'm not as focused in on Illustrator as I would like to be. So that's why I'm pretty much fiddling with Illustrator at the moment. So I kind of wanted to show you how I'd actually achieved this effect, which um, I was quite happy with and looked quite good, I thought, in a lot of ways, apart from the fact that this S isn't quite in line with that S and yeah. But anyway, um, so yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a new window. Uh, we'll call it uh, logo one. Okay, so I'm not really bothered about the settings. Don't really matter. This is just purely I want to show you how I've achieved this. So I've got my character tablet here, which or um, window, whatever you want to call it here, which you're going to need um, later on. So you can find that from type character. So um, just grab your text thing like a text um, panel out there and um, I'm going to type the name of the company down below pictures okay now as you can see already there's um, the problem where these two don't quite line up so what I want to do is I just want to grab the tracking section of uh, the character thing I'm going to whack that right down to 100 as you can see with the 100 it's still not quite lined up I'd like these two black bits to kind of line up almost so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab that again and uh, whack that up to 200 so um, 200 a little bit far out for my um, for my um, taste so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna whack that down to maybe mm, uh, about 150 let's say let's see what it looks like at 150 and nearly a little bit mm, yeah maybe about 140 I reckon that will be it so what we'll do is we'll just whack this down to 140 see what we think uh, I reckon that's about as close as you're gonna get so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna whack this straight up to around about 24 uh, no I'm still not happy at 24 so we'll go at about 48 then I should see they still kind of line up the more you go the more you have to adjust your tracking and so on and so forth some of the time I feel so um we've got this currently set at a myriad pro so yeah we'll use myriad pro but myriad pro bold because i want to make a bit of a statement so now what i'm going to need to do is i need to duplicate this so command c grab a new layer because i like working with layers um, even though you don't actually really have to use them in, for, um, in Illustrator, but always useful. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Let's get off of this, get off the text type tool, go back to that, and drop that in there. So, there we go. Now, there is another way of doing it, but I'm pretty much sure that you have to be on... Um, the same layer I can't remember but if I go control V it obviously drops the text uh, down here what I prefer is for the text to be up there right on top of it so what I'm going to do is if I press control F in theory it should post the text in front so um, it's a bit closer all I have to do is tab down a couple a bit easier that way now, what I want to do is I want to create outlines of this. 
so that then makes an outline of that piece on top so that's found under um, I can't remember now if I just click here go to if I just click on this and click create outlines that's from your right click now what this has done is it's created an outline but it's still left our piece of other text behind it here the actual piece of text that's there but there's also the outline on top so what I want to do is now this outline I want to grab my effects and blur panel and the Gaussian blur now if I zoom out of this you should be able to see that the thing itself has created a blur so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click OK because I'm pretty happy with that and as you can see behind it it's kind of got a bit of a blur but I don't think that's quite strong enough so rather than going back into the actual Gaussian blur itself what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the stroke and I'm going to increase the stroke to around about three as you can see kind of makes it a bit more blurry looking now quite simply what I did to create the um, kind of focused in effect on this is because I've turned this into effectively a image rather than a text the actual out of focus um, or Gaussian blurred part of it what I can do is I can grab the rubber tool and just quite simply if I grab that and put my rubber if I double click on this and put the roundness up to 100 and put the diameter up to around about 5% variation I haven't really worried about but yeah so about 105 diameter now if I click slap bang in the middle what you should see is the Gaussian blur vanish and you get your kind of in focus coming into the middle so yeah that's basically how I've created that um, quite a funky little logo I think quite a cool little idea if you want to kind of make an image or one part of an image look like it's in um, in focus shall we say so yeah I've been uh, Jade Stewart uh, you can check out some of my other designs at jadestewart.com uh, sorry .co.uk I wish I could afford the .com um, so yeah check out jadestewart.co.uk and um, if you want to hire some of my skills I am available through people per hour and uh, the uh, under the username of hippie g20 or alternatively you can just contact me through my website speak to you later guys thank you bye you've been watching the hippie g20 channel don't forget to rate comment and subscribe